Hey girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and happy new year. This is the first video of 2020. So you know what that means, right? Today is the day you get a new challenge for the whole year. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I post new videos every week about curly hair, skincare, makeup, you name it. So what we do here on Beyond Grenade today is every year I give you guys a challenge to better your hair throughout the year. Now the first year I did my no heat challenge. That is where I challenge all of my subscribers not to straighten their hair all year long. And then year two, I did the deep conditioning challenge. After you're not frying your hair anymore, your hair still needs some moisture, so we needed to commit to adding that moisture to our hair every single week. And then last year was my, ooh, toughest challenge that involved the most commitment. I basically asked you guys to shave off all your hair. You know, no big deal but it was my big chop challenge where I wanted you guys to cut off those ugly, straight, straggler pieces. This is for people that had relaxed, processed hair or such heat damage that your curls would no longer curl back. Like you'd get in the shower and they're just like, nope, this is our new look and there was nothing you could do to get your curl back and it just needed to go. So I really wanted you guys to commit to just cutting it off. So in this video, I'm going to show you all of my subscribers that actually committed to the Big Chop Challenge and just wait until you see their results. But before I show you the Big Choppers of 2019, I'm going to announce this year's challenge, which I think is going to be the most accepted challenge that I've ever done, which is the Hair Growth Challenge. Who doesn't want to grow longer hair? That is probably the most common request and topic that any hair influencer gets because everybody wants longer hair. Now, do I believe that long hair equals beauty and that there's something wrong with short hair? No, definitely not. I just asked you guys to chop off all your hair just last year. So that's obviously not how I feel. But I know a lot of you guys don't want to stay in the pixie cut stage and you want to grow out your hair just so you can feel more comfortable. And me personally, I'm just curious. I want to see how long my hair can get in one year. As you guys can see, my hair has already grown out. Like look at these bangs. They're all over the place. I can't see. This is usually when I get a trim, but I'm trying to grow out my hair. So I'm just kind of letting it stay in this awkward phase. But a new year, new hair is a must. What am I gonna do with this hair? Should I just do a middle part now? Hold on. Technical difficulties. My hair doesn't know what it wants to do. That's a little better. So the hair growth challenge is gonna include a couple things, including the first and most obvious thing, drinking lots of water. This is something that I'm gonna have to do anyways because if you guys didn't know, I am pregnant right now. I'm actually in my last month of pregnancy, so I have to be drinking a lot of water, period. Let me go ahead and show you the belly update. Da, 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 da. Oh yes, almost time, people. Now because of this pregnancy, you guys actually might have a slight advantage over me because I heard there's this thing called postpartum shedding, and apparently it's real. So I think this is the perfect time for me especially to really figure out this hair growth thing just in case all my hair starts to fall out. But I do have this water bottle from Health-ish and I like it because it has the time, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m., then you refill it. Then on the back it says 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. So this way you kind of keep track of how much water you're drinking every hour to stay hydrated. And obviously water has health benefits for your internal needs, but also helps with your hair growth and your skin and your nails. And it's just one of those magic ingredients that God has given us. The company did give me a promo code last year. I have no idea if it still works or not, but if it does, I'll put it below in the description box. And if not, I'll ask again and see if I can get another one for you guys. The next thing I wanna experiment with for this hair growth challenge is hair growth vitamins. 
As some of you may know, I have just about every hair growth vitamin under the sun and I've never used them. So I probably should take them before they expire. I didn't want to experiment with any type of gummies or pills while being pregnant just because you never know. So now that this baby will be out of me within 30 days or less or more, <laughs> I wanna start trying some hair growth gummies or hair growth pills. I'm only gonna promote and recommend things that actually work for you guys. Another big thing is I can't use anything that's gonna break me out. So if it has like too much biotin in it or something, I'm not gonna choose my hair over my skin. I need both to be popping or not popping, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna to have to do my research. I'm gonna find the best hair growth gummies and or pills to recommend to you guys so no one wastes their time or money. I already have some in mind, but if you guys know of any that you know work for sure, leave a comment down below so I can research and see if I wanna include that in our challenge. Another hair growth thing that we're gonna to have to commit to is oils. I'm not an oil girl. I'm an oily skin girl, that's for sure. I produce a lot of oil on my own, but I'm not really someone that adds oils to my hair. But once again, I have some girlfriends that have had amazing hair growth and they do nightly scalp massages and they include oils or they include oils in the deep conditioning treatments. So I'm gonna explore that avenue. You know, this is new territory for me, but once again, I'm gonna research, find the best oils for us to use. I'll make a whole video on it and then we're gonna add it to our challenge to do scalp massages every night or in the shower or deep conditioning with oils or whatever it may be. So stay tuned for that. I will get back to you with the best way to incorporate oils. Now, if you are someone that has committed to my other challenges, you already know what time it is. This is the time where we commit to this year's challenge by taking an oath. So, all you gotta do is raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, insert name, solemnly swear to do whatever it takes to grow this hair. I have to drink water and might even use oils, but I'll do whatever it takes to elongate these curly coils. I promise not to stress and I will keep this challenge fun and I will be satisfied with any length when this challenge is done. Boom! Just like that, you have committed to the 2020 Hair Growth Challenge. You and I are gonna be in this together. We're gonna to make sure we do something weekly, monthly. We're gonna take hair growth pictures starting today and then take another picture at the end of the year and see how long our hair has grown. So now that you've repeated after me, you know, I know you actually did it, but I still need this in writing. So leave me a comment down below with your name saying I, insert name, accept the hair growth challenge. That way you have it in writing, you're committing to this in the beginning of the year, this is your New Year's resolution between you and I, and we're gonna come back at the end of the year and I'm gonna look at your photos and repost them and show everyone how long your hair got in just one year. Now obviously to see the best results for your hair growth, you really should continue and or join my other challenges of the last three years. If you're still straightening your hair and completely changing the texture of your hair with hot tools and burning it, frying it off, you're not gonna see as much hair growth as the person that does it. If you're not deep conditioning your hair and your hair is really dry and brittle, you're not giving it the moisture your hair needs, your results are not gonna be as good as someone who's deep conditioning once a week. And if you're someone holding on to straight straggler pieces that will not curl back, you're gonna have a hard time with that hair growth because that damaged hair is starting to split and it could start to split into your new growth which messes up your length retention. So yes, even though the hair is growing out of your scalp, you're not gonna see the length results you want as quickly because those damaged straight pieces at the end are holding you back in life. So I need you to cut it off and you will see much faster and better results from this hair growth challenge. All right, so there's your challenge for this year, but now it's time to reminisce on all of my big choppers from last year. I am so, 
so so proud of you guys if you guys did any type of big major cut or change to your hair last year i know how hard that was to go from that security of having long hair to cutting it as short as your scalp that took so much courage and i'm so proud of you for doing it and i really hope that you don't regret it many of you wrote me saying it was the best decision you've ever done and you're so happy with your new curl pattern that you didn't even know you had so without further ado let me show you all the people that big chopped in 2019 that had amazing curly hair results <laughs> Wow, need I say more? Do you guys see these results? These are people that committed to one, if not all of my challenges. And you also can see those same results if you just commit today to all of the challenges. If it's too much, go ahead and choose one at a time. But if you're trying to expedite this process, do it all. So I don't know about you, but I'm excited to see how long my hair grows. And next week, we're going to be doing a little arts and crafts, a little DIY project, if you will. We're going to be making our own length check t-shirts. So go ahead and find some type of t-shirt now so you're ready for next week. Or go out and buy a white t-shirt. And we're going to make our length check shirt so we can keep a legit log of how long our hair has grown in 12 months and even if you're watching this video late maybe you're watching this video in june july whenever it's never too late to start just join the movement today so if you enjoyed this video and you're excited for this new hair growth challenge make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe i'll be honest with you guys i used to post twice a week but with this new baby coming i have no idea what type of curveball life is going to give me within the next 30 days or so. So the videos might slow down a little bit. It might be a little bit of a maternity leave, but just know that I'm with you guys. And the best thing for you to do is to follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. It's much easier for me to give you guys updates on my Instagram story versus sitting in my whole studio, filming a video and editing it for YouTube. So follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee and our new family page at RMB Fam so you can see what's going on with this little bundle of joy. 
I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.